Hello everyone, this is the Monster Hole One, and we are playing Suikuden 5. Now, last time we discovered that there was a little bit of trouble brewing between two residents of this three place, Lord Lake, and now we're going to go over and talk to them and see what's going on. And they are just up here. Look, I'm going in that sack. No, I said no, Gyo. Go away, sure, however you pronounce that. What's going on, Siley? Talking. Is something wrong? Keep moving, guys. It's not your problem. Go away. It's one of the children. He left to the forest watering hole and hasn't come back. It's dangerous. There are beasts out there. We told him to stay away, but he just wouldn't listen. Well, it'd be a well in this place. Water is pretty much essential, and anyone would go for it. So I can't really blame the kid. It's not the kid's fault. He was just looking for a little clean water. His friends needed it. Oh, okay. So apparently he's not getting it for himself. He's getting it for some friends. And now it sounds like this Gilch guy is trying to go into the forest and get the kid. And tell Gil saying no because the beast will eat him. So what are you saying? We just leave Toma out there to die? So apparently the kid's name is Toma. That's not what I'm saying. Wait here, Prince. I want to go look for the boy. Okay, so apparently Leon wants to go. You. I can't let you do that. Why? Let a little girl go into a dangerous forest all alone? What kind of man would that be? Huh, but what about the boy? He's right, Leon. You're supposed to be his bodyguard after all. Where he goes, you go. So come on, Blanus. Let's go. <laughs> um, okay. Just a moment, we can't let you do this. It would be too. Yeah, this has nothing to do with you guys. Now, if you'll excuse me. Excuse me? Does it really matter who really saves the children from certain deaths? Trust me, we can handle this. We do this sort of thing for a living. Yeah, let's go ahead and show you that we're not really such bad people and that we can, in fact, help. Telga, what are you? Good luck and thank you. Good. I guess we can finally start earning some trust again from these guys. So, now we're just going to go ahead and head on over to the port. So, it's just that the southern powder town here, even though it's a little bit more to the west, but it's really just south right here. So, you just want to head on down over here. And now the fellow lives by. And now we are inside the weather port, so now we just got to take a look around. There's a little saver that we can probably hit, but I think I'll leave it alone for now. Don't really need it. Now this forest can be a little bit confusing, but it's not really too much, and now we finally get a fight. Finally, after in the third video, we finally get a video for a battle. Now there are actually three forms of battles in this game. Three different battle systems. First you have this one, where a certain where just a small group of your allies go up against a small group of enemies. And then you have single duels where it's basically just a one-on-one -on -one fight, and then you have big battle skirmishes where you can control hundreds of characters at once. Well, pretty much a group of a ca hundred characters. So, I think I'll go ahead and show you what these special powers do that you can use in co-op. So, I'll go ahead and show you a royal power that attacks all enemies with a little less damage than what they would do. Man, George there is very powerful when he's just seemingly overpowered compared to the rest of the guys. Even though. So that's how that battle system works. Like, look at him. He is level 20, and the other guys aren't even at that. So you'll really be counting on him. Well, that's Queen's Knight for you. So now we'll go ahead and continue on. See what we can find. Okay, that's just a dead end. Now we got us another battle. So, what are we fighting this time? Okay, we got a three hair ball. So, I think I'll go ahead and show you Swarm Protector this time, and George can go ahead and fight whatever enemy he cares for. He'll just be devastated. Here we go! As you see, sometimes you can combine your attacks on a single enemy to do more damage than the like. Then, even, you can even go ahead and just pick auto while they'll all just attack regularly. Oh, we got us a level up. Oh, got myself a level up. Got the main character a level up. Now, I 
actually should be telling you exactly what sort of commands you have in here. So let's try going this way. It's another dead end. I'm worried about the truck went into the forest. Yeah, I'm kind of mashing it because you never know. There might be hidden stuff. Okay, here's another battle. So I'll go ahead and explain the battle menu that we get. Oh, we got the Hellhound. Or a mad dog. So basically, yeah, fight, which basically you can go ahead and choose all of this by an auto that we already explained. The brand. All you gotta do is pick that, and you'll easily go into a quick bit where you'll attack, no matter, you'll attack regularly against whatever random enemy. Then you have Bribe, where you can pay the enemy a certain amount of pots, which is the current currency in this game, to go away. And you also have Retreat, where you try and run away. And then you have Formation, where you can rearrange your formation as well as form a skill. So I think I'll actually go ahead and show you what this does right now. Basically whatever formation you have has a certain special power. And if that information restores a little bit of HP to all allies. So I think I'll go ahead and show you what that does. And then we'll go ahead and continue it with the main menu. Although it does waste a turn and then it gives the enemy a time. So now we'll go ahead and show you the main fight bit. Basically you have, you have attack where you just attack regularly. You have the men where you have the men. You have runes which is like the magic that you can choose. We don't really have any runes for this guy right now. We have items where you can go ahead and use whatever items the character has equipped. And then you have co-op attack which can skip, which is available to whatever group of allies group of friends that have strong bonds with the actually attack, and then you have switch where you can switch a party member in the main group with one that's in reserve. So in case one is starting to die, then you can switch them for a fresh one. So we'll go ahead and attack this guy, attack this guy, attack this guy, and Silas here actually has a one that we She has the rim room, which basically does win. In fact, he has a whole lot of different runes here. Some are for magic, some are even for strike. Like, George here actually does have a rune that is called the killer rune, but it basically just it works automatically, so you can't really choose it. But Silas so there, you can go ahead and choose a rune, and then you have that rune has four different sets of magic, and you have level 1, level 2, level 3, and level 4. And how you can use those attacks is sometimes you can use about three level ones, so in this case it's a fifth, so this one here just puts the empty fleet, but I guess we'll just go ahead and attack now. And that was the killer room. Sometimes it does fatal damage. So now that we explain that, I'll go ahead and find the kid now. And I think I'll edit out the rest of this fight. That's pretty much about all the enemies that you can find in here. Now we got some medicine right there. And we was dead in. And we got another fight, so I'll just edit this one out. And sometimes the characters will go ahead and have a special line for victory. But on to find Toma. So he should be around here somewhere. Okay, we got his Mega Medicine, which is pretty much just like an upgraded medicine. And another fight. I guess I should actually tell you exactly what we have here. Basically, you can gain experience, which is just like it says right there, and then it also says that you get 120 pots, which is currency, as well as 6 party SP. Now, you can easily use that party SP to upgrade skills for any party member. And of course, the characters also gain their own set of SP, but I just wanted to quickly explain that. Because I don't think I actually talked about that. Okay, it's gotta be over this way. Okay, I guess we probably found the kid now. Look, oh, water! Well, we found the water hole. So I guess the kid should be nearby. He must have come here. Looks like maybe something tried to attack him and he ran off. Well, yeah, this pretty much is the only water hole around. But why come all the way out here? Uh, do you see any other water around? Good point. <laughs> Come on, he ought to be close by. So, now we're gonna go ahead and try and find him in this big area here. Here's the cinematic scene. Hey, over there! Oh, attacking people! So 
we gotta save him. What do we do? Well, we gotta save him, of course. Uh, Chris, wait! There he goes, rushing into things again. Stop his big claw right there. <laughs> so, here is our first boss battle, three holes. Well, I guess this probably could be called a boss battle. At least the music is that of a boss battle. So, we are going to have to go ahead and fight three ults here. They're not really too powerful. George can easily take one out himself. But I'm going to try and show you the wind room here that can put some of these guys to sleep that can, in fact, work. As you can see, George has already killed one. Oh, ow. Okay, that could have killed me. Here we go. Yeah, that is a trick. And let's see if we can put this fellow to sleep. I don't think it works. As you can see, my main character is in a fury state now, and in the fury state, he pretty much can't really. Well, he pretty much fights a little better than usual. And how you get to a fury state is if you get attacked. Attack many multiple times, like how he kind of did there with that first little So we'll go ahead and go with the Swarm Protector. I don't really know why, because George is likely going to finish this guy off in one blow like that. And so we have victory. As well as a lot of level ups for everyone except George, because he's exceedingly powerful. We even have some violent paint and food pieces. Basically, what you can do with those things right there in the item. You have a violence piece and a boost piece. Basically, if you get four pieces, then you can use those to make an orb, which can be used to give you a magic. But we'll explain that a little later. As you can see, the people here don't really like the queen very much. And now we're back to the queen herself. End of the flashback. And she's even smiling? 